welcome back. We're going to look at the phase line for an autonomous differential equation and the possibility of bifurcation or multiple bifurcations, which is where a parameter change in value will create either a change in the number of equilibrium points or the type of those equilibrium points you have, or both. So to get into this topic, let's review a little bit what an equilibrium point is in relation to the slope field. So a slope field gives us the slopes at multiple points given by a differential equation. So for example, let's say we had something like Something like this. Then you can follow these slopes to look at the possible solutions. And we have some pieces here, something like that. And if we go backwards in time, we can see that there's some kind of root spot where they're splitting off. This is peeling off because of the field. And if we went down a little bit. I could see, oh maybe not there down there a little bit maybe maybe straight down if that's possible a little bit further go up so what we have here is an example of a separatrix there is some curve. That is separating two kinds of behavior. We have one behavior that's going up and out, and one behavior is going down. So that's an example of a separatrix curve in space. Another, or a simpler separatrix, is when the curve that's separating the behaviors is a horizontal constant value. So for example, we have like something like that. And then perhaps uh, above it, it's something like this. And then a little bit of a little higher, almost vertical. And below it, very similar but symmetric. Now a little bit further, something like that. And then finally, we have flat again and then symmetry moving outward. Okay, so there's an example of a much simpler type of system with two separatrices. They don't just happen to be, oh, uh, well, they happen to also be flat in this case, and another word for that is no climbs, there's zero slope. But these two separate matrices uh, act differently. One acts more like our original separatrix, where it was peeling off. We call that an unstable separatrix. If we look at these two, this lower one acts more like that. As we go forward in time, we're peeling off our solutions. 
something like that. Go further like that. So this is an unstable separatrix there and an unstable separatrix here. However, on top, we have a stable. separatrices. Now, when the separatrices are constant values, we call them equilibria. So we call this a stable equilibrium, and this is an unstable equilibria. And because this case is so much simpler than this. What we can do is represent it with just a line. And that line is the phase line. If we notice that the slopes do not change with time, they're consistent as we go across. Not necessarily the curves, the curves may move around, but the slopes at in particular value of x are always the same. Then we can represent the whole slope field with one phase line, where we have one stable equilibrium point. We just so happen to fill in that point to show that it's coming in towards it, and one unstable equilibrium point. And we can denote the directions the curves are traveling. They're going down to the stable one and up away and down away from the unstable one. So a phase line is a shorthand summary of a slope field for An autonomous ODE, and this is a non autonomous ODE. This is one as x prime is equal to a function of t and x, whereas this one is x prime is equal to a function of just x. Different f's, but a single function. And when we have an autonomous function where there's no t dependence on the slope field or the slope function, then we can represent this whole slope field by its phase line.